Hi there, you are going to join me on a very short trip to my favorite Goodwill. I wasn't filming because I wasn't really finding things, and then I started to find things, so I decided to film them so you could see what I was finding. I thought this was really neat, and then I looked up sold comps on it. Um, it the bottom is coming out, so it would need to be repaired, but I thought it was really neat. This I'm going to use in my resin. It's actually for candy. They're dinosaurs. They're different dinosaurs. And these Department 56 chicks probably aren't worth a whole lot, but they're so cute looking. Looking. And then this is a red mill cat and I sold the red mill uh, snail and owl in my last whatnot sale And then I would encourage you if you ever find fiesta wear in this cobalt blue uh, to, In the inserts for the relish tray to pick them up if the price is right here are some recent solds for uh, relish relish trays and I have sold these before in the past I've sold a set that were multicolored and it had the circular center piece to it but I decided they were priced individually but I decided to just you know bite the bullet and go for it anyway and the other thing that I also found next to that uh, box they had some Asian fans they all looked kind of more contemporary to me but it's always neat to see what is there when especially if you see a whole bunch of the same thing like these cars but none of the wheels move they were just for show they were all marked individually at a dollar 99 and then I also found this really cute frog trivet that you can hang on your wall. I just thought her expression, I think it's a girl because of the eyelashes, her expression is just like, hi, I'm just a happy frog. <laughs> then over in another aisle, I thought that this might be old, but then I flipped it over and nope, that was not old. <laughs> that is really contemporary. And then I also found this little glass kind of fused clock and then it has the two angels that's a famous painting where you see the two cherub angels looking at each other that's underneath the clock and I thought well this is kind of sweet so I decided to get that so here's everything I know two minutes in and I'm already showing you everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill like I said wasn't planning on filming and then I found some great things so I decided to share it with you I am having a whatnot sale this Friday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and some of these items might be there I'm also going to share with you coming up because you're like wait there's 21 more minutes left of this video some resin art I hope you enjoy here are some of the things that I have made with my resin. I found this in the whole thing. Well, it's Kat, the nurse flipper, started the, started the interest in when she was selling her stuff. And then I found this, and I thought, wouldn't that be neat if you could make a reproduction of it? And so I did. So I'm pretty pleased with how those turned out. Some of the things that Jenny and I made before I, was, I made that is we found a, um, it's for decorating cakes, and it looks like jewels. So she was. She thought that was pretty uh, neat. Let me pull you back here. So uh, she was making jewels with me. Here we used up a kind of an end of day jewel. <laughs> used up all the extra resin. And then uh, there's these tiny little ones like that. And then she's also interested in horoscopes and uh, astrology. I guess more not horoscopes, astrology. So here's a Taurus one. <clears throat> She doesn't, um, I didn't get her a dragon one, Maybe but she, like that. she would like that, I think, because you can paint these. No, they don't have, I think, because they're licensed. Yeah. And then I remember selling on, my fingers are dirty from the epoxy, sorry. Um, I was thinking, you know, when you sell, you can't sell licensed things. So I wonder if you can't sell. I don't know. It's interesting. But anyway, you can paint these. You can see the little star thing. I have to get that out. That's a little, some arg, as my mom would say. So I'm going to try painting that and see if that pops out more. So we've made those. And then um, I made a blue owl. This is called Tiger Eye, this brown color. So I made, and they're just flat on the back. So I made these owls. And I made a little bunny rabbit. Isn't that cute? A mushroom. This was this one was the first mushroom I made with glitter. And then I made let me move this. Let's see, I made trees. Move these over here so you can see. So I dripped the blue, I had this blue resin, so I dripped the blue inside the mold and let it sit a little bit and then filled it with the white. And then I have seashells, this is just a little pearl, uh, 
it's a sea urchin and I put the silver foil in see what that was like and I have these seashells Jimmy's washing the dishes in the background if you hear anything he's working and I'm making a video <laughs> Here are the seashells. So it's nice when you're making a big thing like the trees and you can use the leftover molds to make other things. And here's some uh, other little shells like that. Um, so my, my idea after doing the flower, I also got the idea if this, if you saw this video, I picked up this butter dish in a Goodwill video and I thought wouldn't that be cute to make a little little tableau, a little scene. Isn't that neat? They're not glued down. But I'm thinking if Jenny suggested using this dark blue to make water on the bottom and then to glue the little pieces in place. And then you could have a little, like when you're in school when and you'd make dioramas of a book report or something. I just think this is cute and it puts the uh, clear glass, gives it a second life. But the most fun part, oops, the fun part of doing resin is the, kind of like the unboxing of the resin, is when you take them out and you see what you created and they just pop out so easily. There's a little purpley one. So a lot of the things I'm going to show you today are purple and white because those were the two colors I was working with. This I need to trim off because I spilled haven't been doing it for very long it's a learning process but I love it here's this one oh here I'll make this in focus here there we go you can see all the detail on it now and this one I'm going to wait because it has a big drip there well I think I can pull it out this one has some resin in it and that one on purpose because then I can fill it up with another color and this I think we'll just we could trim this off here see there Pretty neat. Okay, so those are the little ones. And then I made two trees yesterday. And I was talking to Kat and she was going to try painting the inside of her molds with the powder. And the powder, it looks like eyeshadow. It's this mica powder like this. Doesn't that look like eyeshadow? And you can add that to your resin too diet or you can use alcohol inks so these you can see I painted green pink and a pearly color with the mica powder and then I filled it with white resin so this tree is this form so let's unbox it together let me pull you back just a little bit oh it's already shiny already like it it's so shiny. Oh, this is cool. Let me make it uh, this way. There, now you have more room. You can see the messy table. No judging. <laughs> okay, look. Oh, that's so cool. Jimmy, look. Oh, that's neat. That is really, really pretty. Oh, I love that. And then this one I think looks like drippy ice. That is so pretty. Then I was thinking last night, I wonder if you could drill a hole up in there and put a light and it would glow. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, this is neat. Okay. Once you get them started, it's not that bad. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. Try not to touch the table while I do it. Let's see. Jimmy, don't say farts in bed. <laughs>
did it. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. What do you think? Yeah. That's really pretty. We need our mail or something. Mm -hmm. I really like that technique. That's with po painting it with the powder. What? Do I, I paint it. Yeah, well, she mentioned she was going to paint. And she's I did. A she's the guru. She is the guru. I get a lot of my ideas from her. And it's fun because we do the same things and then different things. And um, sharing things and talking about, oh, look, did you check that out? So I got the same idea to do the critters. Can you hand me that pink one? And then the other pink one. That one. This is the bunny and this is the owl. Which one do you want me to open first? The bunny? Okay. So I painted this bunny with the powder too. I took the leftover, oh, it looks like he has a tongue. All of these together mixed to make this kind of silvery color. So these were all, because I was painting and I was tapping it down and it fell on the mat and then I took the leftover and I painted this. So you can compare. So this was dyed with just the alcohol inks and this was painted. Oh, that is so cool. Because the detail really pops out, out right. with this. Yeah, it does. That's neat. And her eye, the eyes are better. You can see the eyes. Yeah. Really okay, wait till you see the owl because I, I added gold to the beak. Okay, so here, this is the very first owl I made. Here's the second owl I made. And they're neat. They are neat. Okay, ready? But they kind of, they kind of don't, they don't stand out. Yeah, this is, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it just, all the details jump out. That's really neat. Yeah. I'm I sure, really. Sure the mushroom ring. Yeah, mushroom is the neatest thing. What, this one? No, the other one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, it's it, it, it is like simple. Yes. No, show the other um, the other mushrooms right there. This one, yeah. So this one I'm saving to. It looks like it's glass. Yeah, yeah. it does, and it f it feels so neat. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, add extra hmm. to the bottom when I do it today. So, okay, let's do some seashells. These I also this now there's a spillage here. So this also has a little bit of the shimmer to it, and I have to trim this off for it to handle. <laughs> And then here's the other seashell. Oh, I really like that. And that's purple. You can see I was making purple and then I needed white. And this is the leftover. So it does have a little bit of purple to it. So here are the seashells. Let's see. Hopefully you can see all of them there. That's really, really cool. <laughs> I think it's really, really cool. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Okay. Um, oh, then I made the blue fish that you saw in that little butter dish. So I decided to make, I was making another sphere for the flower reproduction. So I had this color. And then to use up the leftover, this fish should all, sorry, let's put it in focus. This fish should all be pink. Now, um, it did have a little boo-boo right there, but that's the bottom. So I don't think that'll matter much. Look at that. Let me see if I can move it closer. There you go. Now you can see. So it's kind of a pinky. This was red but it's kind of lighter. Let me show you. This is the, um, so I have the powder that I showed you earlier, and then I have this dye that's more of a pearly, pearly dye, and then this is just a plain. And so this, I use this dye, so it's not shimmery, it's just a color. Okay, let's look at the, uh, Move some of these around here. All of our critters. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is so enjoyable. It's I, I, I knew it would be fun, but it's more fun than I thought it would be. All right. Um, then this one I tried to do uh, orange and white. The top looks like it's mostly going to be white. And then I tried to do the same thing here. So I think these might be more orange and white striped, and this might be hopefully more of a mix. So let's uh, do this one. Oh, that's cool. That turned out neat. It looks almost cased. That's neat. And then the last fishy. Okay, let's 
see how they are different. But yeah, this is more, they look similar. They're, they're twins. <laughs> and then there's the other one. If you, I think if I want to make it spotted, you can use resin that you can dry quickly under a UV light, but I don't have that. And then, you know, I could have put the spots, dried it and continued. But I think if I block it in areas and let it set up a little bit till it's sticky and then add the other color, I can make it more mottled color. And then um, here, this was also, I got this mold. I think it's for making cakes, like not for making cakes, but to decorate cakes. And I was using up the, the leftover purple. I haven't, I haven't used this mold before, so I don't know what these will look like. Oh, they're cute. I thought they look like little candies. I thought it would be cute to paint little um, details on them. So here are the hedgehogs. And then they have little mushrooms. And then you could paint little details on there. Whoop, let's put that in focus. He wants to focus on the other stuff. There we go. Yes, and there's a little flower there. So uh, using it up, uh, I don't feel like I'm wasting the resin if you use it up in these little tiny, tiny little molds. And let's see if I can get this. This one, now this is a little bit bigger than the one I made. So it's, it's gonna be a bigger one, obviously. But I don't have one, that, this is the original. I don't have one that size. And it looked like they cut it off in the factory. But luckily these have a flat bottom. That's why I picked this pattern. And once you get it started, it, it comes out pretty simple. Sorry, I keep shaking the table. Oh, that turned out neat. Okay. It's kind of shimmery. That's neat, I like that. And then I have these purple. Looks like a resin chaos. Here's another, a tiny purple one. I was trying to make a dark purple. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That turned out good. I'm gonna try sanding, cause you can sand resin. So I'm going to try sanding out those bubbles. It's hard to pop the bubbles because of the way the mold is. You can get it, get them here, but they all kind of rest. But that's on the bottom. And it's the only, that's the third one I've made. So I'm not going to be too hard on myself, how it turned out. Let's see, this goes this way. Now these little ones might be really hard to get out. Let's see. Oh, no, that is pretty easy. Tiny one. I think it would be fun to try to make miniature lucite grapes if you had a whole bunch of these. Jenny saw this one. She's like, how are you going to get that one out of there? Hopefully it'll come out easily. And if not, I'll have just one. Gosh, it is a little hard. Oh, it came out. Oh, it just kind of smoothed out there. Okay. Turned out pretty good. Kind of has a flat bottom. Here's the next one. Uh, let's see. Not too hard. This one here. Let's see. All the different sizes and then there's this one uh, let's see if I can get this one out there there's all of that look at all the purple and then I made flowers to make another one of these 
so I decided to try purple flowers. This is the powder I dripped on top and swirled it in. And then I also painted it with the powder. So it is kind of shimmery on those. And I needed five, because the original had five, so I'm making them with five flowers. I think these are pretty. You can use all kinds of color, different colors. Now this one just has the powder on the front. Well, that's so pretty. I'm glad Kat mentioned that. That's a neat idea to paint with the powder. It really is shimmery. Let's see what these three look like here. Yeah, that's really pretty. And then I have smaller flowers. Uh, you saw it in the little aquarium I made. They're tiny. These are the first ones I made. I put a little bit of gold leaf there and then here is the purple I just made purple purple and purple so those are all of those okay well I hope you enjoyed this un kind of unboxing resin <laughs> the resin art I'm sure there will be another video like this soon and I'll see ya